Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the newest handgun from Terran Tactical Innovations and it's called the Sand Viper. They floated this out on Instagram last week. It got a ton of attention. It's beautiful. It's high quality. Check out that coyote bronze finish on there. It is really something. But it's also very expensive. MSRP $6,999. But you may not have to pay that. Check this out. If you want to win this beautiful sand viper, this one right here, all you have to do is buy the cool mug to get entered. Every mug you buy gets you automatically entered to win this TTI sand viper. This sand viper giveaway is to help raise funds to take this channel to the next level. So click the link in the description to get entered to win this Terran Tactical Innovations sand viper. The deadline to enter is July 13th, 2022, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So here is the TTI sand viper. It, it really blew up the internet when they they uploaded it on instagram a couple videos too but this is the first video that you have seen that is not from terran tactical himself it is extremely high quality it's a 1911 chambered in nine millimeter and if you go with this it'll come with this 22 round mag and in the case it will have a another 22 round mag all right so you like that and then a 28 round mag and with this sucker in there, it is, <laughs> you know, takes high capacity to a whole new level. So you get three mags and this very nice case and this handgun, the Sand Viper. I love it. I, I took it to the range. I was blown away at how nice it is. Let's start with the bottom here. We'll work our way up. Flared Magwell has that same Coyote bronze finish to it. The grip is TTI textured. They, they do that in-house. Okay, at least that's how the, the website makes it sound. They, they do that themselves. And when you grip it, it feels very tight on the hand. I love it. Um, flat mainspring housing. All right, nice checkering right there. And if you notice, they don't have the memory bump on the beaver tail grip safety. He decided to get rid of that. He actually, I think he called it stupid, you know. He said, when you grip this, you don't even feel it. And you don't. And it, it, it it's, blends right in, like he says. It does have an ambidextrous thumb safety. We'll see that on both sides. And you'll check out the serrations there. Now, it does not have sight. So you have to have, have an optic on here. It is cut to fit without optic plates needed a Trijicon RMR or an SRO and I picked up this SRO. This is the one that he featured on Instagram. This is the one that he shoots with in incredibly well by the way but he has the Trijicon SRO. So I went with the Trijicon SRO. I believe it was 620 bucks plus tax 5 MOA. I dig it. I dig. I dig it. I, I sighted that in after a couple shots and, and really fell in love with it. You can see right there the logo, Terran Tactical Innovations on this side, Sand Viper, the logo right there. If you look at the trigger guard, you'll see that it has that same texturing on the lower part, the bottom of it, as the grip. All right, and then here is some different type of texturing, more like the mainspring housing texturing, all right, like that, all right. So it does have stippling all throughout. A lot of people like to, to grip their handgun with the, the forefinger up here. Not quite my flavor, but I get it. Some people like it. Coyote bronze. You see it has lightning cuts all throughout, all right, and a trigger that is so smooth. I'm measuring it at two pounds, just a little bit of pressure there, and then... There is your reset. If you cannot stay on target with this handgun, then you're in serious need of a training class. That trigger is worth writing home to or writing mom about. This thing really is nice. It does have an accessory rail right there built for competition. But the one thing that I think is super cool and it cuts down the recoil substantially, being that it is a heavy gun, we'll get it on the scale shortly, it has a large port compensator built-in compensator right there where is that right there a built-in compensator keeps the muzzle very low flat shooting handgun extremely flat shooting handgun like zero muzzle rise and it is 
really unique. I think I think it's great the way they did that. I like the way they angled down right there. All steel guide rod. And there are those lightning cuts. The slide serrations go all the way up top there. It's beautiful. It's a shooter. It is expensive. But I, I loved it. I took it to the range. I just loved it. Let's roll through some of that footage. And we'll come back and show more of the TTI Sand Viper. With all the handguns that I've ever shot, I don't think I have ever been as quick and accurate as I was with the Sand Viper at the range. It was just a confidence builder, right? It's got a five inch compensated match grade barrel, a two pound trigger pull, and high cap mags. So, you know, it, it's fun all day long. You sight that optic in and you're pretty dead nuts and there's no doubt about it. I like that grip texturing. One thing I didn't mention is that it has an oversized magazine release. Check that out. So you don't even have to change your grip at all. Just put your thumb there and, and drop that mag. And then of course the flared mag, well, throw it in there. Competitors would love this thing. That part, I guarantee. They really would. Let's get it on the scale. I've got 28 rounds. No, I don't. I have 22 rounds here. So let's see. Throw that on there with the SRO and the 22 round mag. Two pounds, three and three quarters ounces. And then we'll throw 22 rounds on there. Three pounds, two ounces. We move that to just ounces. We're looking at an even 50 ounces. Let's say you threw one in the chamber. 50 and 3 eighths ounces. So of course you're looking at a heavy gun. It's a 1911. They weren't really made to be light. And this one is not light. But what it is, is it's really beautiful and a great shooter. And a very quick shooter. I cannot uh, emphasize enough how well I shot this gun. I don't think I gave it as much justice as it deserves. I mean, even one-handed, you put that dot on the target and you just touch that trigger. Let's take a look at that again. I'll drop the mag, we'll show clear. Oh, by the way, the spring weight is so light. You know, it feels like a, a little 22. You know, some of those 22s, you just, now this is very light, very light spring. Check that out, that is really something. And with that built-in compensator there, and the lightning cuts in the slide, it cycles so fast that as soon as you take your first shot, it resets so uh, short that you, you can just take that second shot because there's no muzzle rise, or very little, I should say. Very nice extended beaver tail, skeletonized trigger and hammer. 1911 all day long. Love them. 9mm, 22 round mags, 28 round mag. And the Terran Tactical Sand Viper. I think the name's cool. I think it looks cool. I like that Coyote Bronze finish to it. I like this Trigicon SRO too. This is the first one I've owned with the SRO model. Okay, not an RMR. But you have to get either this or the RMR. And they give you the hardware to put it in. And just a couple clicks this way, that way. You sight it in and you can shoot with confidence with the TTI Sand Viper. Just love it. Really did. And if you are interested, you know, check out the link in the description. Hit that and purchase a coffee mug and you'll have a chance to win this. It's all right there. Check it out. It's beautiful. It's high quality. And it certainly gets the job done. And I cannot emphasize enough how much fun it was at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.